so our next topic is food resources for the definition of the food any substance that is ingested and is utilized by the body for growth and sustenance of life is called as food in other words natural or artificially produced material which are used as food to derive metabolic energy are called food resources and what are the main metabolic energy requirement for ultimate source for the metabolic energy for growth body repair body heat balance and daily activity foods are divided into three parts agriculture crop livestock food and fishes whatever things we are getting from the plants they are considered into agricultural crops while whatever things we are getting in the livestock food they are kept in the uh, we are getting from the animals that is kept in the livestock foods and the fishes are in a separate category so this and what are the major sources of the food first of all cropland cropland gives about 76% of the food while rangeland that means animals they produce around 17% of the food and 7% for the fisheries we are having world is facing a lot of food problems and what are these food problems insufficient production secondly lack of irrigation facilities undernutrition and malnutrition hoarding and black marketing improper agricultural practices these are some of the world food problems and what are the factors that causes the food problems first of all geographical geographical conditions and lack of rainfall because of this we are not getting enough production secondly population growth as the population is growing to, uh, with the very high speed so to produce the food for this growing population is very difficult inadequate distribution system the proper distribution system is also not available then there is poor quality of soil social disruption and terrorism the natural hazards like flood drought earthquake etc may cause this food problems changes caused by agriculture and overgrazing first of all what are the major changes caused by the agriculture effect of short sighted schemes government has implemented a lot of short sighted schemes which has made which maximizes the yield of the crop but at the same time it reduces the uh, reduces the production of uh, production quality of the soil widespread irrigation led to the spread of mosquitoes irrigation increases the mosquito also and other insects also widespread use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides has polluted soil and water intensive agriculture has destroyed farmers traditional knowledge about cross cultivation practices leaving many permanently in indebted to rural and agricultural banks farmers throughout the world are at the disposal of the multinational seed companies increasing number of farmer societies across india effect of chemical fertilizers what happens with the chemical fertilizer first of all loss of soil fertility and degradation of soil quality they create nitrate pollutions in underground water excess use of fertilizer causes eutrophication effect of chemical pesticides most pesticides kill many non targeted organisms as well pesticides adversely affect harmless species such as frogs snakes earthworms and birds there is an increase in the resistance to pesticides in insects pathogens weeds etc because of indiscriminate use pesticides from agricultural land run down with rain water and enters local streams or lake pesticides adverse, adversely affect the health of farmer also by magnification the magnified level of toxins then enters the human body and causes serious damage excessive use of pesticide causes air water and soil pollution water logging and salinity generally accumulation of water on land for a longer period is known as water logging water logging causes moisture and percolates down which dissolves the underground salt in it these salts emerge on the surface of the land after the water is evaporated this leads to salinity in soil 
regions enriched with the canals and dams for irrigations are more prone to water logging which increases the accumulation of salt in the water logged areas effect of water logging water logging causes denitrification it also gives growth of microorganisms also growth of only a few species plants due to lack of insufficient nutrients in soil lack of oxygen in logging area and long term logging reduces the aesthetic values also effect of overgrazing first of all what is overgrazing overgrazing refers to the practice of grazing by a large livestock or cattle for a long period on a land without giving sufficient recovery time so that is when the cattle they eat too much of the grasses that we call we call as overgrazing elimination of sensitive edible plant species and dominance of some species there will be only some species available and remaining edible species the plant uh, animals will eat acceleration of soil erosion as well as decrease in soil fertility accumulation of large quantity of animal waste and downstream water bodies causing problems of water pollution and eutrophication grazing animals sometimes bring seeds of weeds and pathogenic organisms which may often become harmful to other animals increase in reflectivity of land surface which in turn reduces the quantity of rain and thereby increases the chance of drought and what are the sources of the fish we are having at least 55% fishes from oceans and 33% from the aquaculture while the fresh water fishing is only 12% that means from river lakes we are getting only 12% of the fish about 2 million people in developing countries depend on the fish as their main source of food so that was all about the food resources thank you